Hey everybody, what's going on Video Game Freak? Coming back with a new uh, gaming series on my channel for you guys. We are playing the PlayStation 2 once again. Um, today we are going to be playing some WWE Smackdown vs. Raw 2006 right there on the screen for you guys. There's the back of the case if you guys can see it okay. Um, whenever I bought this game, I didn't get it complete with a manual, unfortunately, which sucks kind of sucks in my opinion but it is what it is um today we are going to be doing the season mode we are going to start this off um so let's get started i'm going to play on easy difficulties so i hope people don't judge me too bad but it is what it is so let's gonna get started i think since we did a season mode on monday night raw on the other game that we have recently played on the channel i think we're going to start off with a smackdown season mode only because I want to do something a little bit different here. Uh, I think we'll play as Rob Van Dam. Uh, only because, you know, somebody different. Uh, you know, never played as RVD before. I'm hoping you guys can see everything on the screen uh, currently. And I hope it's not too, too bright. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get going here. Here we go. If you guys enjoy, leave a uh, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. We are on the prologue as it shows right down the screen. Tori, hey Tori Wilson, hey there, baby girl. Have you got a couple of minutes for your general manager? There's an urgent matter I need to speak to you about. Actually, Teddy, I'm supposed to catch a flight, and I'm already running late. I'd love to stay and talk, but that's okay. Don't worry about it, Tori. I don't want to be responsible for my number one diva missing her flight. You feel me? I'll catch up with you next week. Thanks, Teddy. I'll see you Thursday. Damn. I hate to see that girl go, but I love watching her leave. Holla. <laughs> It was like Teddy Long just got ran up by a car. What was that? Teddy? Oh my god, Teddy! Don't worry, Teddy. It's going to be okay. Help! Somebody please help! WWE Legend Store. Hey, Tori. I. What? When I was asked to come by the GM's office, you're just about the last person I'm expecting to see here. Don't tell me you're the new general manager of SmackDown, coach. No, no, no. The coach isn't your new general manager yet, but I have been asked to move over from Raw to take care of a few things during Teddy Long's absence. Now, I know that all of you on SmackDown are upset about what happened to Teddy, but hey, life goes on, right? The WWE Board of Directors has asked me to help out with superstar scheduling for the upcoming WWE Legends World Tour. It turns out, that Ross Muhammad Hassan isn't going to be able to make the tour. So, I need you to take his place. It's probably for the best anyway. I mean, can you imagine the trouble that guy would have had at Customs? Look, Coach, I appreciate the offer, but I'm staying right here on SmackDown to find out who ran over Teddy Long. Until that happens... Look, the investigation of Teddy Long's attack is already well in hand. Besides, it's not like you're actually a detective or anything, is it? I mean, what are the odds someone like you would solve it? You know, the way you're talking, I start to wonder if you might know more than you're saying. You wouldn't be trying to get rid of me with this whole world tour thing. I hope 
you're not implying that the coach ran down Teddy Long. Ask anyone. And they'll tell you that the coach is an excellent driver. Besides, the tour is going to feature some of the greatest WWE legends of all time. In fact, it's such a huge show that I decided not to book myself on it. I didn't want to blow the fans' minds with too much star power. I think facing WWE legends would be a great chance to prove yourself to fans worldwide. It sounds like it could be a lot of fun. Plus, I don't think Coach is going anywhere for a while. You can stay here and deal with him if you want, but I'd just as soon get out of here until he's gone. Listen, if I can get you on board and solve this scheduling problem, that's going to make me look good for the board of directors. So if you'll help me, I'll help you. Go on the tour, and I'll see if I can't pull a few strings to get you a WWE title match once you get back. You can do that? Absolutely. You're talking to the coach. Okay, fine. For a title opportunity, you've got to do it. Oh boy, Coach says you're welcome. All right, it looks like we are taking on the British Bulldog. So let's get this match underway here. <clears throat> we are playing as Rob Van Dam. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first week of the WWE Legends World Tour. This is Oklahoma's own Jim Ross here with Jerry the King Lawler. And tonight, we're across the pond in merry old England. I love visiting other countries, JR. You get to learn so much about their cultures. For instance, did you know that they don't actually have English muffins in England? And lorries are trucks. And birds have puppies. That's really fascinating, Dean. As you can see, this Manchester crowd is fired up to see a hometown favorite. The legendary British Bulldog in action here tonight. I'm not sure why it's playing entrances. I did turn this shit off, so. But I'm just going to let it play. They can copy out now if they want to. I don't really care. Even though it's probably not even going to play the thing song in my video anyway, so. versus British Bulldogs on the Legends Tour of 2006. Double knockout. No idea what that means. I'm not even going to read that. It will be in the video. And here we go. One. 
stars have any intention of taking it easy on each other tonight. That's not what they signed up for, King. And quite frankly, I think the fans would be disappointed if they didn't go all out. That's easy for the fans to say. They've never set foot inside that ring. No, but they spend their hard-earned dollars to watch what goes on inside. He's got that submission hole locked in. He sure does, JR. He might make his opponent tap out right here. Oh, here we go. What a jerk. How about continuing the match? I don't think he's in any hurry to end this one, King. And I don't think the crowd wants us to end either. There's the reversal. I talked to these superstars backstage before the match, and I don't think I've ever seen the Predators so ready to get it off. And that's coming through loud and clear here tonight in this match. They're not taking it easy on each other. It's been said a million times, but I'll say it again. This isn't ballet. Ruthless aggression is the name of the game. He covered that and made it look easy. This capacity crowd is solidly behind their superstar. Look at this. Wow, could you be any more biased, JR? How about some fair and balanced commentary? I don't know where he thinks he's going. This could be a mistake. What a counter! Rob Van Dam is such a human. He can fit him right here, JR. So far, we're getting our asses whooped. Six. I think I know who's going to win this match, but I don't want to say. I'm afraid I'll jinx it. Come on, King. Don't tell me you're superstitious. Of course not, JR. I'm not superstitious because I know that's unlucky. This could be a pinball. Boy, what a match. I wouldn't even hazard a guess. As to who's going to win this thing. What? Have you got both your contacts in one eye, JR? It's been obvious to me since the start of the match. Oh, really? Well, then, why don't you just enlighten the rest of us, King? No way. I can already tell this is going to be a great match, and I don't want to ruin the ending for you. You're too kind, King. You're also full of horse manure, as far as I can tell. Here he goes! 
See, every time I try to hit my fucking finisher, he gets up. But seriously? He just got He just got up, like seriously. These fans love confidence in their superstar. And that's just what they're saying from him here tonight. Well, he can do this until the cows come home, but that's not gonna win us a match. He's going up! Oh, what? oh boy! Here he comes! I mean, we still won, but my God. That match took longer than I expected. Oh, my God. Oh God, I might have my fight this week. I can imagine. against the British Bulldog last week. I mean, after all, he's the former tag team champion, the Intercontinental champion, the European champion, and the hardcore champion. You were surprised that I looked good against the Bulldog? Well, Jimmy, I'll do respect to the Bulldog. He's one of the true legends of this business, but I'm a legend in the making. Well, you know what they say, one match does not a legend make. Anyway, tonight, you're scheduled to face one of the greatest superstars ever to set foot in the WWE ring. And a man I know very, very well. He's a five-time WWE champion and the greatest member of the legendary Hart Foundation. I'm talking about Canada's favorite son, Brett the Hitman Hart. Sweet, the Hitman, huh? Brett Hart's one of the all-time greats, no doubt about it. And if I beat him here tonight, I'll be one step closer to becoming a legend myself. Hey now, don't get cocky, Daddy-O. <laughs> Hopefully you'll be as good in the ring as you seem to be with the ladies. Because the excellence of execution requested a submission match. But I gave it to him. He said something about putting the past behind him here tonight. A submission match, huh? Well, it would be the first time Bret Hart tapped out in Montreal to a legend in the making. See you around, Jimmy. Good luck! Oh, great, a fucking submission match. How lucky me. <laughs> At least DQ's turned off. I don't have to give them credit. DQ. No DQ is turned off. This should be a blast.
Good evening and welcome to week two of the WWE Legends World Tour. I'm Michael Cole, here with Taz and Ringside, and tonight we're coming to you from Montreal, Quebec. And man, what a show we got tonight, Cole. Some huge names in WWE history are on the card, including this man, a real Canadian legend, Brett the Hitman Hart. Everyone knows that Bret Hart has some very unhappy memories right here in Montreal. It's likely to be an uphill battle for his opponent in the submission match. And you've got to figure that Brett's out to exercise those demons here tonight. Let's try and get this match out of the way real quick so we can end this video. We can't get out of them ring. I've been looking forward to this match all night long, Paul. So have I. It's certainly been one of the most anticipated matchups in recent weeks. And usually when you have that kind of hype, it's really tough to live up to the expectations. But these superstars ain't having any trouble doing that. They sure aren't. And that's an impressive thing in and of itself. You saw that one coming. I think I've got a pretty good idea who's going to win this match, Cole. I wouldn't be so short to ask if there's one thing we've seen, if there's anything can happen here in the WWE. Exactly kosher, but you're putting that body on the line again. 
you got to do whatever it takes to protect yourself and pick up the win. Guys, you're talking about two different things. Going outside the rules in the name of self-defense is one thing. But cheating to steal the victory and enhance your own career? There it is, Cole. Blood the war up. The end is near. How can you sound so excited, Dad? These are human beings in the ring, for God's sake. Correction, Cole. He's a WWE superstar. And so are. This is what you do to win a match. Wow. Man. Yeah. So we won a submission match. All right, hold on a second, y'all. <clears throat> All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe for more content, and I will see you guys later on today with a, another part of this uh, game. And I will see you guys later on today. See you guys.